the world's 15 largest islands, which, in order, are Greenland. Greenland itself is the world's largest island. As it stands now, Greenland is the largest island on Earth. Now, the first one that jumps to mind is Australia. However, Australia is technically considered a continent. Because of this, the largest island in the world is technically Greenland. No. Do you come from a land down under? A women go and men go under. Hello everybody, my name is Soma, and despite the fact that I struggle to even imitate the Australian accent, in the fact that I live on the opposite side of the planet to Australia, I am, in fact, an Australian citizen. And as an Australian citizen, I'm taken aback by this troubling pattern of ignorance about my motherland. Greenland is big and all, but the title of largest island in the world rightfully belongs to the island of Australia. When I bring this up, people inevitably respond by pointing out that Australia is a continent, and therefore cannot possibly be an island. Now, definitions of continent vary, but if we look at the definitions of island given by Merriam-Webster, Britannica, and Dictionary.com, we can see that all specify that an island is necessarily smaller than a continent. If Australia is a continent, therefore, it obviously can't be an island, right? Well, not so fast. What people miss when they make this point is that the name Australia is being applied to different geographic boundaries in each of these cases. Australia is, in fact, an island, a country, and a continent, each of which have different boundaries. The island of Australia is this landmass right here. Once you realize that the continent of Australia includes many islands beyond this landmass, it becomes apparent that the definition of island given by Merriam-Webster, a tract of land surrounded by water and smaller than a continent, applies perfectly in this case. The country of Australia, meanwhile, includes more than just this island. Most prominently, the island of Tasmania, just south of the mainland, is also part of the country of Australia. Additionally, the country of Australia includes over 8,000 smaller islands, and claims dominion over a large chunk of Antarctica. Now, what about the continent of Australia? The continent of Australia actually includes three countries as of the writing of this video. First off, there is, of course, the country of Australia. To the north of the country of Australia, the island of New Guinea, and a number of smaller islands off its coasts, are also included in the Australian continent. The island of New Guinea is divided between the nation of Papua New Guinea in the east, and the Indonesian states of Papua and West Papua in the west. So, that addresses the question of how Australia can be an island, a country, and a continent all at the same time. But while we're here, let's take the opportunity to clear up another common misconception. Actually, you could make the argument that Australia is a continent of its own right, which, I mean, isn't correct. Oceania, which is the sixth continent. Um, a lot of uh, Americans, I believe, are taught in school that, like, this continent is Australia, um, but this continent is actually Oceania. When Australia is described as a continent, someone will often chime up with, Australia isn't a continent, it's part of the continent of Oceania. So, let's take a quick look at Oceania. Oceania is a large region in the southern Pacific, which includes the smaller regions of Polynesia, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Australasia, with that last one including the entire region we previously described as the Australian continent, and overlapping with Polynesia in New Zealand. If Oceania includes all of what we described as the Australian continent and more, it makes sense to think that it's the true continent in this situation, while Australia is just a region within it. However, the thing is, geographic labels are arbitrary and there are no rules. So, instead of being called a continent with the geographic region of Australasia inside of it, Oceania is actually classified as a geographic region with the geographic region of Australasia inside of it, and the continent of Australia inside of that. Think of it like Afro-Eurasia. Like, sure, there's nothing naturally breaking this landmass into three pieces, but for some reason we treat it as three separate continents. If you think of Asia as equivalent to the continent of Australia, you can see Eurasia as equivalent to Australasia, and Afro-Eurasia as equivalent to Oceania. It might make the most sense to make the largest sections continents, and call the smaller divisions regions, but hey, since when have human labels ever made sense? I hope this has helped to clear up some of the confusion about Australia's position as the largest island and smallest continent. If you see anyone making the mistake of calling Greenland the largest island, or calling Oceania a continent, please feel free to send them this video. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.